Today might be the weirdest day in U.S. history with the Capitol being sieged, but let's talk about the NBA because that's amazing and I love basketball. The San Antonio Spurs have a future that's so bright. And let's talk about it. I want to hear down below who is the best player and has the most potential on the Spurs right now. What do you expect for them in three years? Let's go. Hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel. All right. The San Antonio Spurs being led by DeMar DeRozan. DeMar DeRozan continues to have career highs in not only the assist department, but also just his efficiency. He's playing some of, if not his best basketball, being such a good three-point shooter, shooting 46% from three. And he's not holding back. So look, this team as a whole, I think the interesting part is that they're having DeJounte Murray play more of a combo guard secondary ball handler role which is more suited for him this year while the year before they had it more as a primary ball handler which i i think they didn't do as well when they had Derek white as the primary ball handler and Dejounte murray as a secondary ball handler two years prior but this team has the best potential i think for being a top five team in the next five years all right, if we're going to talk top to bottom, Kelvin Johnson is a stud. This man is averaging eight rebounds a game. He is the definition of the modern day stretch for positionless basketball. A guy who can hit threes, get rebounds, and be a transition score and defender for you. So you have him. And I assume DeJounte Murray is going to be a part of that. There's your two guys. Lonnie Walker is a big question. I'm a fan of Lonnie Walker, but will he be able to ever put it together? Because it feels like we've been waiting a while, and I know this is year three. So if he doesn't have it clicking by the end of year three, and thankfully he's been a really good scorer, like shooter. Like He's only shot about two attempts a game this year, but he continues to show that, I mean, two attempts for his career, but this year he's shooting about four and a half attempts. But he continues to show that he's a 38 to 40 percent shooter. Let's just get him more minutes. And I know he's only 205 pounds, but I think he has the frame to get better. So hopefully, he breaks out by the end of this year. He breaks out next year. Who I have so much confidence in him when he came out of Miami. Great player. Derek White needs to be re-signed either as a six man or as the point guard when they get rid of Patty Mills and Rudy Gay, LaMarcus Aldridge, and DeMar DeRozan. Because the roster that I assume is going to be left behind is DeJounte Murray, Kelvin Johnson, Lonnie Walker IV, Derek Wright, Trey Jones, Yoko Pertle, Devin Vassell, Drew Eubanks, Lucas Aminka, Trey Lyles, maybe. I think Lucas Aminka right there that you have 10 guys between Lucas Aminka, Drew Eubanks, Devin Vassell, Yoko Pertle, Trey Jones, Derek White, Lonnie Walker the fourth, Kelvin Johnson, and DeJounte Murray. That's actually nine guys. And you know, a rookie, whoever you want to add in there, that is that is not a bad team. Because I would assume the lineup would be right there if you're running that at center, it's probably gonna be Yoko Pertle with Lucas Mink at the power forward position. Then at the small forward position, you're either running Lonnie Walker or Devin Vassell, you'd think Devin Vassell maybe could get the weight up, but Lonnie Walker might be closer to that weight, so you have Walker there. Or you could even have, at small forward or power forward, Keldon Johnson and Lucas Minka, and then Lonnie Walker and Vassell switching off at the shooting guard position with DeJounte Murray and Derek White doing the same idea. That would be the nine-man Drew Eubanks and Yoko Pirtle taking turns at the center position. I would not complain with that roster if I was a fan of the San Antonio Spurs. This is a team that has reinvented themselves since the bubbles. The bubble, we saw them begin to reinvent themselves. But we, we've seen it expedited into this season. And I think it's actually a really fun thing to watch because it's a different team. Something that we're not used to seeing in Greg Popovich. But obviously... you. If you're, you've coached as long as Greg has in the league, it's because he's willing to reinvent himself multiple times over. And there's no shame in that as long as you're winning. And I know they're 3-4 and four right now, and they had a really good win over the Clippers. And if we want, if we want to talk about that, 
Like, let's start talking about Patty Mills and how he's just been a three-point barrage. He's been hitting so many three-pointers, and he's been playing really good. And the fact that the young core may not have a superstar talent to usher into the next dominant era of Spurs basketball, but however they, like I've said, they have many complementary and starting caliber pieces, which will help them figure out what this revitalization, revitalization of the franchise is going to be. Like I said, DeJounte Murray, Lonnie Walker IV, Keldon Johnson, bring, in, bring defensive intensity and athleticism that should wreak havoc in transition for years to come. And it has been on full display this year. Factor him, Yoko Pirtle's rim protection, Derek White's defensive prowess, and Devin Vassell's ridiculous instincts and IQ. San Antonio has the potential of potent, like being one of the best defensive teams in the league all across the floor, being so versatile and diverse. And their game, and I know they've lost games due to the fact they're inexperienced and their game to game dependability isn't there yet. But on some nights, Kellon and DeJounte Murray both have 20, po 20 points plus, but then on other nights, they won't be able to reach double figures. So you're sitting there like, damn, are they, they going to figure this out sometime soon? It begs to differ, you know what I mean? Though, you know, people love LaMarcus Aldridge, uh, but, you know, they're 0 for 3 without LaMarcus Aldridge, and they've been out-rebound 129 to 162 in the three-game absence. But, it, look, I love LMA, and LMA doesn't even factor into the future, but he's clearly a part of their immediate plan. So, keeping him for a respectable level of competent, like, being, like he brings stuff that they need in rebounding, especially with DeMar DeRozan. They need these guys here to as to help usher in the new era, which is the small ball strategy. And it's just interesting to see how it's going off because you know what? Like it might not be something we ever expected, but like they're gonna keep working on it and getting better at it. And in a year or two, they're gonna be in the playoffs. I don't know if this year, if they do, it's an eighth seed, but like you know what I mean? It's just them figuring it out. And that's the best part of it all, knowing that they are going to figure it out and they're going to be one of the best teams in the NBA. It'll be something fun to watch for so long. So long, and I, I'm really excited. But yeah, this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm just milking it for that sweet, sweet ad revenue. And that's pretty much it. I, if you guys want to click off, you can now, but stay till you the nba 2021 mvp I'm like making a thumbnail for another video as we're making this video so yeah hope you guys do have a great day because i know i will tell you guys to be peace out